Hey everybody, welcome post Thanksgiving back to the channel. I hope you all had either a regular Thursday or a great Thanksgiving. I've actually just returned from my trip that I took down to Seattle and I hopped on at about uh, 11 42 p.m. just to try and get some replays done for Alpha Star. Now, uh, you guys seem to really like that impromptu best of three. So I've created another best of three, but this time from a Zerg point of view of Alpha Star. So just to be clear, I've grabbed a bunch of games that were under 10 minutes. I put them into a randomizer and we're going to play them out as if it was a best of three. So I don't know the results. I don't know what these games are going to look like. But to be clear, <laughs> Alpha Star will remain a Zerg. The other players will rotate around accordingly because it is random and not really a best of three. But welcome to this not really best of three. It's spawning here in the bottom right. We, of course, have our red Zerg, Alpha Star. With her opponent to the top left, the blue Zerg in this instance, it's a Grandmaster player. Now the pros and the cons to this are because I know that I picked games under 10 minutes, there's a more than 50% chance that we're going to get to see some cheese games. But what's been really unique and kind of cool, in my opinion, is not watching Alpha Star possibly do cheese or is Alpha Star going to do a cannon rush question mark clickbait title? No, it's it's kind of actually watching other players cheese out Alpha Star and watching Alpha Star's response to it. Obviously, the last couple of videos we put out have been Protoss and defending things like cannon rushes and three gates. And Alpha Star has, I think, if nothing else, showcased a really good way to handle these situations. So if players ever found themselves in those same scenarios, they would hopefully be able to react accordingly if they studied off of Alpha Star. But Alpha Star being the AI that it is, unfortunately, as far as I'm aware to date, isn't playing any games live on the ladder at the moment or anymore. There's recently been a big patch change, which has completely tossed the game balance design around quite a bit. So I imagine it'll take some fine tuning to get Alpha Star accommodated with the new changes. But I do hope that at some point DeepMind puts out another version, even if it's just for a temporary run on the ladder, because these have honestly been some of the more fascinating games I've casted. I think I would still always enjoy watching some live humans go at it, but watching this on YouTube exclusively, because I don't do a lot of these on Twitch, has been a real interesting change of pace for me. Uh, and obviously, uh, I mean, I've seen the views. You guys like these too, so that's really cool. Keep them coming type thing. Uh, Queen's going to push off this Overlord, so Alpha Star's scouting is going to be reduced pretty significantly. But Alpha Star appears to be the one who might be going for an all-in, despite my uh, descriptions just moments ago saying otherwise. But I guess that was Protoss and not Zerg. Off of one gas, Alpha Star goes for a Roach Warren, and it was scouted by our blue Zerg. Uh, I mean, a Spine Caller is already down. More if scared, but I think that this should be okay in terms of defense for blue. Alpha Star has been pretty notorious with Roaches and Ravagers. Taking a good mix of the two, creating armies and going all in against more often Terra players from what we've been casting, but doing this in a ZVZ is certainly not unheard of. I'm unsure if Alpha Star will bring the Queens. Probably not. We do have our human in this instance, though, in a bit of a bind. They're on their way to Roaches, but they're not there yet. Nor do they overinvest in spine crawlers. One could argue five spine crawlers could hold off an early Roach attack like this and buy you time to get your own Roaches out, but. I think just hoping that the timing will work out well, combined with a bit of defender's advantage. There is a full wall after all that Alpha Star will have to take time busting through, but I mean, there's queens, <laughs> there's roaches, there's slowlings, there's a little bit of everything, the kitchen sink all in, if you will. And of course, our blue Zerg can see this coming from miles away. So no queen in the wall, but a full wall dedicated entirely to buying enough time to get units out to play with. Some spine crawlers as well. The slowlings are a really odd addition to this because usually you reinforce with the lings because they're fast and quick across the field. But in this case, they're cheap and affordable, I suppose. Blue's defense, though, this is looking doable. At the moment, there's an overwhelming amount of roaches and ravagers, but realistically, two more larva waves. And actually, there's going to be a lot of roaches out here for blue as well. So this is really make or break for Alpha Star. The spine collars at the front of the wall are going to help out a ton, but the uh, evolution chamber is going to break here pretty quick. And he is going to unleash some broodlings on top of Alpha Star, helping deal with some of the lings and do a bit more damage back to this. The road counting station is four to six, but of course those three Ravagers add a lot of spice. But look how much that one Evo chamber, that one spine collar did to help. And of course, while this goes on, the road warning gets focused next. So it's going to be slow links for blue. <laughs> if they can hold on, though, they do have a superior worker count. 
This is just a matter of holding, but I don't know if it's that simple. Queens are on the front line, so they don't have a lot of transfusions. And Alpha Star is looking to break this close to Bossani in the middle. Nice splits out of our blue Zerg, though. Backing away from this, it's tough to say who's going to win. The Spine Collar adds a lot to the fight. So do the Queens. But there are Queens on both sides of the equation. Carosa Biles out of most humans would normally be going into the eggs, but not necessary. Here's Alpha Star landed enough, or at least caused enough movement to get the edge through auto attacks. And with that, I believe has maybe just broken our human in half. Yeah, it's a bunch of lings spawning, but I mean, this many lings, if, if there was fewer Ravagers and maybe they could get a full surround, we could talk, but no, that's not going to cut it. GG's get called, and Alpha Star takes the first win in this impromptu, not really, best of three. Okay, it's game number two in this uh, not really best of three that we've cocked uh, concocted here. No, that oh, let's just start that again. All right, welcome back to game number two in this not really best of three that we've concocted together. Spawning here to the lower right hand side of the map, remaining as Zerg, we have the blue Alpha Star. And of course, their opponent to the upper left is going to be the now Protoss Red Masters player, giving a bit of a challenge. As I said, though, uh, I think it's pretty safe to say that we know these games are going to be cheesy just due to the time in which I, I pulled all the games together. Maybe if you guys really like this, I'll do another one and we'll mix in some macro games, too, into the randomizer and see what it spits out. But <laughs> it's not even a guess if it's going to be cheesy. A mother f***ing pylon on the other side of the map for their first pylon. It's probably going to be gateways. What is really neat though is we actually we, we very literally just watched Alpha Star fight against this. Now granted it was three gates and a forge, a little bit of cannon shenanigans and some zealots. And I called that as like an auto over. And I was so very wrong about it. In fact, we're watching a very similar build come down. Waiting for that fourth forge to come down, question mark? Is this the same player? No, okay. It's four gateways. Wow. I'm sorry, is it suddenly 2012 again? Four gates? Really? It's been so long since this has been a thing. I mean, I've seen some pro cheese games before, and I've not even seen four gates. So I don't know how this is going to work. <laughs> but a couple of interesting things about this. One, uh, our human faked out their probe. So if Alpha Star was gauging anything off the Overlord Scout, it didn't look that fishy. Secondly... But the four gateways, they actually fully surround the pylon. There's no way for Alpha Star to recognize what's going on. And even if Alpha Star does, then pull probes, drones in this case, to deal with it, the pylon is unreachable. These gateways have created a perfect seal around it. So frankly, there's not going to be an easy way to shut this down. Where perhaps this failed before, maybe works here versus Zerg. <laughs> four zealots at a time when Alpha Star is going to have like a queen and a couple of Zerglings, and a very, very exposed natural base. Now, no more questions about what's going on. Alpha Star has seen this with its own computing, robot AI, deep mind learning eyes, and these zealots are not gonna waste time at the natural base, and I think this is a really smart move, going straight for the main, going straight for the throat. This is at a pretty good timing, just before everything's out to fight, and if these zealots get a couple of good swipes in before the queen spawns, that's big. For those who don't know the dynamics of this, by the way, a zealot without any micro from either side, will just auto attack to auto attack, can 1v1 a queen. So that's where going to pull some drones, get these lings into the mix. Yeah, there's some more zealots on the way, but there's not enough money to produce off of four gateways efficiently. But three more zealots joined the fray. A fourth one now coming. But the first four have pretty much been dealt with, and it's just these follow up zealots fighting against drones, fighting against lings. The two queens being micro very well in the back, and. Oh my god, even the drones being micro through this. Look at this! Look at this! So many drones are like one shot from death, but Alpha Star micros, or micros them back to mining. Holy crap! What? What? In what universe does somebody handle that so perfectly? How many drones did Alpha Star even lose there? Seven total. Sorry, I hit back a little bit, my bad. But uh, I got so excited pressing the wrong hockey. Seven drones. That's actually amazing considering this was unscouted, unseen, unprepared for. And now just pumping out links. Alpha Star does not have a huge worker lead like we've seen Alpha Star have in the past in these situations, but the, I think the army count's gonna be really interesting to watch. If these zealots are in a choke and these wings can't get us around, I do believe the zealots still have a lot of power to win, but oh no, our human may have to just recall them all back home. Alpha Star looking to set up and go for the attack. I mean, this is a smart move. Uh, knowing full well something is amiss, recalls half the forces 
three zealots i don't think even in the mineral lines, i don't know if this will be enough they're caught out in the open without the probe support that's a big problem for our human now pulling probes into the fight to assist the zealots but any amount of mining disruption completely shuts down the zealot production 100 minerals per unit these are expensive and there's no way no mining is going to be tolerated in this game so losing the zealots no recall again for another like 20 something no 50 seconds wow i forgot this is like old old school stuff and 12 more links are on the way the queens have got a lot of energy now they have some transfuses that is a lot of zealots to have to fight against though 10 zealots is big let's not pretend like it isn't but once again our human player splits their forces so the zealots don't have their backs to one another they don't have a wall helping them in this case and these links are getting full surrounds where really they have no business getting full surrounds uh the zealots kill a couple of the queens cool but the links have been completely unmanaged through this and these zealots come back to the high ground their shields haven't even regenerated there's not enough money to do the pro pole earlier to produce enough zealots to hold this. That's going to be the tap out. And Alpha Star once again wins another one of these impromptu best of threes. I will once again just try and fill the end of the video with a bit of just something because I don't want this to be too spoilery mode and easy. But the guys, uh, thank you for watching these. If you want to see more of these like shorter games, let me know. If you want to see me go back to just hunting down the longer games, I mean, there are still at least 100 or more of these replays I have at my disposal. Uh, and I'm just enjoying the heck out of them. So let me know what you guys want to see, and I'll bring them your way. Thanks for watching. Like the video. I'll see you on the next one. All right, welcome back to game number two in this not really best of three that we've concocted together. Spawning here to the lower right-hand side of the map. Remaining as Zerg, we have the blue Alpha Star. And of course, their opponent to the upper left is going to be the now Protoss Red Masters player, giving a bit of a challenge. As I said, though, uh, I think it's pretty safe to say that we know these games are going to be cheesy just due to the time in which I, I pulled all the games together. Maybe if you guys really like this, I'll do another one and we'll mix in some macro games, too, into the randomizer and see what it spits out. But <laughs> it's not even a guess if it's going to be cheesy. A mother f***ing pylon on the other side of the map for their first pylon. It's probably going to be gateways. What is really neat, though, is we actually, we, we very literally just watched Alpha Star fight against this. Now, granted, it was three gates and a forge, a little bit of cannon shenanigans and some zealots. And I called that as like an auto over, and I was so very wrong about it. In fact, we're watching a very similar build come down. Waiting for that fourth forge to come down, question mark? Is this the same player? No, okay. It's four gateways. Wow. I'm sorry, is it suddenly 2012 again? Four gates? Really? It's been so long since this has been a thing. I mean, I've seen some pro cheese games before, and I've not even seen four gates. So I don't know how this is going to work. <laughs> but a couple of interesting things about this. One, uh, our human faked out their probe. So if Alpha Star was gauging anything off the Overlord Scout, it didn't look that fishy. Secondly... But the four gateways, they actually fully surround the pylon. There's no way for Alpha Star to recognize what's going on. And even if Alpha Star does, then pull probes, drones in this case, to deal with it. The pylon is unreachable. These gateways have created a perfect seal around it. So frankly, there's not going to be an easy way to shut this down. Where perhaps this failed before, maybe works here versus Zerg. <laughs> four zealots at a time when Alpha Star is going to have like a queen and a couple of Zerglings and a very, very exposed natural base. Now, no more questions about what's going on. Alpha Star has seen this with its own computing, robot AI, deep mind learning eyes. And these zealots are not going to waste time at the natural base. And I think this is a really smart move. Going straight for the main, going straight for the throat. This is at a pretty good timing just before everything's out to fight. And if these zealots get a couple of good swipes in before the queen spawns, that's big. For those who don't know the dynamics of this, by the way, a zealot without any micro from either side, will just auto attack to auto attack, can one be one a queen. So that's where going to pull some drones, get these lings into the mix. Yeah, there's some more zealots on the way, but there's not enough money to produce off of four gateways efficiently. But three more zealots join the fray. A fourth one now coming. But the first four have pretty much been dealt with, and it's just these follow-up zealots fighting against drones, fighting against lings. The two queens being micro very well in the back, and... Oh my god, even the drones being micro through this. Look at this! Look at this! So many drones are like one shot from death, but Alpha's are micros or micros them back to mining. Holy crap! What? What? In what universe does somebody handle that so perfectly? How many drones did Alpha Star even lose there? Seven total. Sorry, I hit back a little bit, my bad. But uh I got so excited pressing the wrong hockey. Seven drones 
that's actually amazing considering this was unscouted unseen unprepared for and now just pumping out links alpha star does not have a huge worker lead like we've seen alpha star have in the past in these situations but the, i think the army count's gonna be really interesting to watch if these zelts are in a choke and these wings can't get us around i do believe the zelts still have a lot of power to win but oh no our human may have to just recall them all back home alpha star looking to set up and go for the attack I and mean, this is a smart move uh, knowing full well something is amiss recalls half the forces three zealots i don't think even in the mineral lines, i don't know if this will be enough they're caught out in the open without the probe support that's a big problem for our human now pulling probes into the fight to assist the zealots but any amount of mining disruption completely shuts down the zealot production 100 minerals per unit these are expensive and there's no way no mining is going to be tolerated in this game so losing the zealots no recall again for another like 20 something no 50 seconds wow I forgot this is like old old school stuff and 12 more links are on the way the queens have got a lot of energy now they have some transfuses that is a lot of zealots to have to fight against so 10 zealots is big let's not pretend like it isn't but once again our human player splits their forces so the zealots don't have their backs to one another they don't have a wall helping them in this case and these links are getting full surrounds where really they have no business getting full surrounds uh the zealots kill a couple of the queens cool but the links have been completely unmanaged through this and these zealots come back to the high ground their shields haven't even regenerated there's not enough money to do the pro pole earlier to produce enough zealots to hold this that's gonna be the tap out and alpha star once again wins another one of these impromptu best of threes i will once again just try and fill the end of the video with a bit of just something because i don't want this to be too spoilery mode and easy but the guys uh, thank you for watching these if you want to see more of these like shorter games let me know if you want to see me go back to just hunting down the longer games i mean there are still at least a hundred or more of these replays i have at my disposal uh and i'm just enjoying the heck out of them so let me know what you guys want to see and i'll bring them your way thanks for watching like the video i'll see you on the next one